condition is linked to many health problems, including respiratory infections, heart disease, and lung cancer. Monitoring air quality is very important because it allows people to understand their environment better and improve it. A few years ago, I participated at a demonstration in my neighborhood to protest against the burning of coal at the Capitol Tower. A job that's slowly... As a result of the protest, the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, and Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid wrote to the architect of the Capitol, asking to stop burning coal. Architect pledged to face out coal by October 2001. Until recently, we all thought that coal burning in Washington, D.C. was a thing of the past. all this time and the architect has recently submitted a permit to the DC government to expand its plant operations and increase pollutant emissions. There are approximately 230,000 people who live within a three mile radius of the plant. It does not have basic safeguards like scrubbers or tall enough chimneys which makes the toxic emissions go directly into our neighborhoods, parks, and schools. So I figured that maybe a 12-year-old kid armed with balloons and an air quality monitor in front of the power plant might bring some attention to the issue. So here I attached a nanode, which connects to an Arduino, which powers it with a 9-volt battery. Here I have temperature sensor, and a humidity sensor, an NO2 sensor, and a carbon monoxide sensor. I went up on the roof of my house. I inflated about 30 12 inch balloons with helium. I then tied the custom sensor to the balloons in the fishing pole. of my fishing pole and the balloon brought my custom sensor about 300 feet up in the sky. The one was coming directly from the capital power plant, which was an ideal condition for the experiment, but not for my health. Based on my experiment, the sensors show that while up in the sky, the air quality resulted to be better. This is bad news since this means that pollution comes down on us and does not disperse into the air.
Try